Hello Hillside, welcome to our technology tips and tricks channel where we share some of the many awesome ways we utilize technology to share the light of Jesus. In this video, Hillside's master of check-ins, Naomi Kurtz, will demonstrate how to best set up and prepare a check-ins laptop for a Sunday morning or other Hillside event. Let's get started. Hello, this is Naomi and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to set up check-ins and be able to print name tags so the very first thing you're going to want to do is plug in all of your appliances, specifically the printer and the scanner. You can put those wherever you'd like. Um, and then if you want to, it's probably best to plug in the laptop as well, just to make sure that it doesn't die on you as you're checking people in throughout the morning. Um, the very first thing you're, you're going to want to open is this application that's called Dymo Label V8. This is so that we can send a test label. It is going to look just like this. We're just gonna throw this away. It's just that the check-ins app will not let you print any name tags and still, until you've done the test print. So once you've done that, you're gonna want to click this application under the check-ins one. That looks very, very similar, but it's check-ins printing We'll just double click it to make sure that it's on. This also makes sure that the printer knows to print name tags. So once you've done those little steps, you can first pull up Microsoft and we have a tab saved at the very top that says events check-in. So you'll click on that. And then at the same time, you can close that window or minimize it and then go to the check-ins app these tend to take a little bit of time to load. I had them already pulled up, but it'll just take a bit to load. And once they have finally done that, you will scroll and see all these events that we have. So if we're having the nine o'clock service, you're gonna want to click on that. And uh, right now we're at test event Wednesday, which is very exciting. So there are three people checked in already, which is 100% more than last week. And to make sure that the computer is logged into the station, we're gonna click the stations button at the top. And this computer's name is Hillside Covenant Sephora. So as you can see, it's right here. We want to keep it as a manned station because that means that somebody's operating it. It should already be on that setting uh, as print station to self because the, the printer that we use right now is connected to Zipporah. And then where it says to lock the station to an event, uh, for at 9 a.m. service, this is perfect, but we right now are on test event Wednesday. So we're gonna be clicking that. We want all locations, which would be all like Sunday school students and uh, main congregation. So then you'll submit that. And if there were any iPads that were in use, you could also look like Dorcas is one that we use often. Um, and you're gonna wanna do the same thing for that. Once you're locked into the correct event, you're gonna go to the check-ins app, which again is this purple application right here. Um, if you hadn't been locked into the correct station, it would let you know, it would say that the station is locked because it wasn't set for um, an event that is currently scheduled. So, but we're at test event Wednesday now. And if somebody is uh, logging in by scanning their phone, um, you're gonna wanna make sure that the blinking line is there. They'll scan their phone, a code will pop up, you'll click enter, and then their name tag will print out of the printer. Um, if they don't have the app, I'm using my phone to film this, so I currently do not have that accessible to me. You can also just type in their name, even just the first two letters of their first name and first two letters of their last name. The system will figure it out, and we're gonna check me in, and my name tag will print. And this is actually perfect for the next lesson. The, the printer happened to run out of labels after it printed my name tag. So this is my name tag. It started to print a security tag, which we don't use anyways, but uh, now I'll teach you how to reload the printer with labels. The blue light is blinking. The printer is out of labels. So you can just pull that open and see that this is the empty roll. And I keep one preloaded usually 
So I have that right here and you'll just stick that there. Make sure to feed it so that the labels are on this side, not this side. And then it'll be ready to go. There you go. So there's that security label that it was trying to print. Again, we're not gonna use security labels right now, but if there was a family that was checking in and some of their family members didn't print, then that, then they put then. If for some reason there was not um, a preloaded roll, you will just open this by prying it apart. You take this off and you'd wanna stick the roll just like the one in here. You want the side with the arrow on the left with it rolled underneath, and then it's all set to plop in. If you need those extra labels, those are kept in this cabinet. There are many boxes stocked. You'll just pull one out, um, open up, and there will be the labels inside. And I think that's just about all you need to know to run check-ins. So thank you so much for helping. I hope this video has helped you. Before we start anything, we're gonna have to go get the computer and devices, which are in the sound closet. There is the laptop with everything set on top of it. Everything should be already plugged into the computer and that there is an extra roll of labels in case those are needed. And when you're setting up for the outdoor service, you'll go to this closet that's right across from the offices and when we peek in here, we can see the tables that you might want to use for setup and also some chairs. And the most important thing besides the tables and chairs in here is the extension cord, which you can plug in by an outlet next to the door and run out to the outside so that you can plug in your devices.